Hi, lovely people. So this is a Cambridge exam and we are asked to solve for X. Yeah, I know some people will be tempted to say X minus 1 divided by X minus 1 divided by X minus 1 as well. So you do that X minus 1 and X minus 1. But if you do that, I would like you to check. You notice that you cannot divide the denominator by 0. So if we say if X minus 1, if you are using X minus 1, then X must not be equal to 1, right? Because if X is equal to 1, then this becomes 0, and we cannot divide something in mathematics with 0, right? So we are going to get back to this first. But first of all, let's solve it using two more methods before we get to this one. So this is the question, X minus 1 raised to the power of 3, is equal to x minus 1. Now, first of all, let's bring this to the other side, right? So if we do that, we have x minus 1 raised to the power of 3 minus x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, you can see that x minus 1 to the power of 3 means x minus 1 into 3 places, right? So we can actually factorize x minus 1 from here. So if we bring out x minus 1 from here, then we have, when this is divided by this, two of it will remain, right? So we have x minus 1 squared minus, now x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 will give us 1. And this is equal to 0. Okay, you remember that A, when you say A multiplied by B is equal to 0, it simply means that either A is equal to 0 or B is equal to 0. So that means from here we can say that x minus 1 is equal to 0 or x minus 1 squared minus 1 is equal to 0. Now if that is the case, from this side we can say that x is equal to 0 minus 1 will cross to become plus 1. So we can say that x is equal to 1. That is the first value of x. Remember that we are going to solve this using three methods and the third method is more interesting so i would like you to watch to the end and see how we did that then for this side let us um expand this remember that when you have a minus b squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared okay so that means that we write this as x squared minus 2 multiplied by x multiplied by 1 plus 1 squared right so that is it for this. Then minus 1 is equal to 0. So we continue from here. Yeah. So this is what we have. x squared. Now 2 times x times 1 is minus 2x, right? Then plus 1. Then minus 1 is equal to 0. Okay? Now plus 1 minus 1 is 0. So what we have left is x squared minus 2x is equal to 0. Now, let us factorize x out. x squared divided by x will give us x, minus 2x divided by x will give us 2 is equal to 0. So this also boils down to x. Either x is equal to 0 or x minus 2 is equal to 0. So that means we've gotten the second value of our x, then from here, x is equal to 0, minus 2 across to become plus 2. That means the third value of x is 2. So, that is another way to solve this. Or, or, from here, from here, we have that x minus 1 raised to the power of 2 is equal to 1. Alright? Yeah x minus 1 raised to the power of 2 minus 1 is equal to 0. So if we transfer this, it becomes x minus 1 squared is equal to 1, which is what I wrote here. So we can decide to take square root of both sides of this equation. So if we take square root, we have square root of x minus 1 squared is equal to square root of 1. Now square, we cancel this square root, and we have x minus 1 is equal to plus or minus 1. All right, so we can see that x is equal to minus 1, we cross become plus 1. So we have 1 plus or minus 1. That means x is equal to 1 plus 1 or x is equal to 1 minus 1. So we have the second value of x then to be either 2 and the third value to be 0. So that is another way to solve this. Now, let us go back to the main uh, method. The main method is 
we are asked to solve x minus 1 raised to the power of 3 is equal to x minus 1. What if we decide to divide both sides of this equation by x minus 1? What will happen? But before that, if this is the first time you are seeing us, please click the subscription button, turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss our amazing videos. Yeah, we upload our videos every day. So tune in at your convenience to watch our new uploads and please give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video. That means a lot to us. Thank you so much okay now let us divide both sides of this equation by x minus 1 so we divide by x minus 1 and divide by x minus 1 but with a condition with a condition that x minus 1 shouldn't be equal to 0 sorry shouldn't be equal to 0 yeah exactly the denominator shouldn't be equal to 0 okay now let us go ahead and solve now when you do that, we have what we have here will be x minus 1 raised to the power of 2, right? Is equal to this, we divide itself to give us 1. Now, we take square root of both sides of this equation. So we have square root of x minus 1 minus 1 squared is equal to square root of 1. So we have this, we divide, uh, cancel this, and we have x minus 1 is equal to plus or minus 1. So our x is equal to 1 plus or minus 1, okay? So we continue. Now this is where we have that x is equal to 1 plus or minus 1. Now we have x is equal to 1 plus 1 or x is equal to 1 minus 1. So the first value of x then becomes 2 or the second value is 0. Now, remember, we said that, note, this is what we said, that x minus 1 should not be equal to 0. Okay? Now, what if x minus 1 becomes 0? Okay? If x minus 1 becomes 0, what happens? You see that x is equal to 0, minus 1 will cross to become plus 1. So x is equal to 1. Now we substitute this into the main equation to check if this is a solution. All right. Now the equation says x minus 1 to the power of 3 is equal to x minus 1. Right. Now when x equals 1, let's see if this equation is true. So we check to see what happens when we substitute x to be equal to 1 to see if it is part of the equation okay if it is part of the roots or if it is one of the solutions so if we do that we substitute 1 here and we have 1 minus 1 raised to the power of 3 is equal to 1 minus 1 okay all right now 1 minus 1 is 0 we have 0 to the power of 3 is equal to 0 and yes 0 times 0 times 0 is equal to zero so zero is equal to zero so that means that one is also a root that means the third value of x is one therefore x is one two and zero thank you so much for watching see you in my next video bye